Are you drowning in sleaze? Will you suspend Chris Pincher? He's been away at foreign summits now for some days. But British Prime Minister Boris Johnson came crashing back to reality as he returned to the UK, facing yet another boozy scandal. There are calls to expel his former chief whip, Chris Pincher, from the Conservative Party after claims he groped two men at a private members club. While he's been a prominent figure on the world stage lately, at home he may be facing another leadership challenge soon. An election for the 1922 committee, which decides many of the Conservative Party's internal rules, is being held in the next few weeks. Those elected could change the party's rules, meaning that Johnson could face another challenge before a 12-month grace period ends. Euronews reporter Vincent Bacovini is in London and sent us this report. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is now facing calls to suspend Chris Pincher from his party. That's after he stood down as the Deputy Chief Whip, which is a government position, after allegedly getting drunk on Wednesday night and groping two men in a private members club in central London. This is not the first time that he's ran into trouble for making inappropriate passes at people, and it becomes a very difficult situation for the Conservative Party battling with this ongoing sleaze. Now, there are calls from MPs across the House for these matters to be dealt with differently, that the members should be suspended, they shouldn't be able to go into Parliament if there are any investigations ongoing. It's not clear if there are any being underdone by the, undertaken by the police right now. But in a few weeks, we've had two Conservative MPs have to stand down, one due to watching porn in the House of Commons, another due because of sexual assaults on young men. That meant that the party lost both those by-elections. There's also another SNP MP who's recently uh, been in trouble and had an investigation because of inappropriate passes and touching of another young man. So there is a bit of a culture at the moment in Westminster that many say is inappropriate of sexual uh, assault but also uh, just a power play between those in positions of responsibility and those more subordinate in the party structure or in their offices when it comes to sexual harassment. Vincent McAvinney, Euronews, London.